Chapter 3 Creating Animation in Adobe Animate 2022 Learning Objectives Understanding Timeline Creating Symbol and Instance Animation Applying Motion Presets Introduction Adobe Animate is an animation software with the help of which you can create high-quality vector graphics. This software is developed by Adobe Inc. and is used to create 2D animations. The animations created by this software are scalable, reusable and adaptable. These animations are used for online video, apps, television program, games, etc. It also allows you to publish your animations to multiple platforms. To start Adobe Animate 2022, click on Start button. Adobe Animate 2022 option, click on File menu, New option, Standard option, Create button. An animate window appears with Scene 1 on the monitor screen. Understanding Timeline In Adobe Animate, Timeline is used to organize and control a document's contents over time in layers and frames. It displays a frame-by-frame -frame layout of an animation that takes place in a specific period. The speed of the frames can also be controlled in the timeline and adjusted according to the user's requirements. Timeline helps in controlling when a particular image or video will be displayed and when a particular character will enter or exit the scene in animation. You can also determine the stacking order of a scene in relation to other elements on the screen. A timeline is divided in two parts. Layers and layer option on the left, frames on the right. Layer. A layer is like a translucent sheet where you can organize your artwork. It can be used to draw and edit objects on one layer without affecting objects on another layer. These layers are stacked on the top of one another, each containing a different image that appears on the stage. All the layers are combined for a complete graphic or animation. Controls in the layer section facilitates you to hide, show, lock and unlock the layers. Benefits of using layers It gives you freedom in modifying layer objects and gives a way to keep objects from merging on one layer when you need them to be separated in others. Layers are easy to be rearranged. These allows you to change the order in which the objects are displayed in graphic or animation. You can temporarily turn on or off the individual layers and you can focus on a particular part of an object. With layers, you can apply effects to individual elements of a single graphic. The following figure shows the various components of the layer box. Delete layer, add a new layer, current layer, show layers as outlines, lock or unlock layers, show or hide layers. Frame. A frame is a combination of the image and the time of the image when exposed to the view. It is a fundamental concept in animation. It contains the image to be displayed at a unique time in an animation. A sequence of discrete frames makes an animation. The frames are placed in the timeline in the order in which you want the objects in the frames to appear in the finished content. A frame is just an intermediary between key frames. During a normal frame, there is no modifications in the amount of an object on stage. The actual changes appear in key frames. The total number of frames in a timeline can be used to specify the total length of the movie. Keyframe A keyframe is a frame where a new symbol instance appears in the timeline. These keyframes are represented by a solid black dot and empty keyframe is represented by empty dot. It is used to represent a copy of an object. In order to make any changes in an animation, Keyframes are inserted and changes are made. When an animation is created using frame-by-frame -frame method, most of the frames in it are keyframes. Creating Symbol and Instance Symbol A symbol is graphic button or movie clip that is once created 
in animate and can be reused throughout the document or in other documents as well. It resides in animate library and can be used multiple times in an animation. It is a static object which can be ready-made and imported from other files or the artwork created by the user. When user converts a drawing or object into a symbol, it moves to the library automatically. Types of Symbols There are three types of symbols used in animate. Types of Symbols Description Movie Clip It is a special type of symbol which has its own multi-frame timeline that is independent from the main movie's timeline. It facilitates the user to run the animations regardless of how many actual frames the instance occupies. Buttons It is a special type of 4-frame interactive movie clip in Animate. It is used to perform some mouse-related interactivity such as click, roll over or another event. When this type of symbol is selected, Animate creates a timeline with 4 frames. The first 3 frames display 3 possible states – up, over, down. The fourth frame defines the activity area of the button. Button – normal, button – hover, button – clicked. Graphic Symbols It is a static symbol which is used when there is no need to add interactive functionality in an animation. It is a collection of frames used in animations or single frame mode. These symbols use the same timeline as the main document and therefore display the animation in document editing mode. Steps to create symbols in Animate are Select an object Click on Modify tab Click on Convert to Symbol option a Convert to Symbol dialog box appears. Specify the name of symbol in Name text box. Specify the type of symbol using Type drop-down list. Click on Registration grid to position the registration point for the symbol. Click OK button. An object will be converted into a symbol and it will store in library. Instance a symbol is a reusable object and an instance is an occurrence of the symbol on the stage. When you use the symbols outside the library, either on stage or nested inside another symbol, you are actually using the instance of the symbol. The advantage of using instance in animation is that if you repeatedly use instance in your animation, it does not increase the file size and keeps your document file size small. Each instance has its own properties like color, size, shapes, etc. If you modify an instance, it does not create any effects to the actual symbol. If users make any modifications to the actual symbol, it will reflect to all its instances. Steps to create an instance of a symbol are Click on Library Panel Click and drag the instance from Library to Stage an instance of the symbol will be created on stage. Animation Animation is the method of photographing successive drawings to create an illusion of movement in sequence. The images are created with little modifications to appear as moving images. For example, look at the successive images given on next page. If they are played in quick succession, gives an illusion of movement of an object. Various graphics software are available which can be used to create animations. One of the commonly used software is Adobe Animate. Various ways to create animation in Adobe Animate 2022 are Motion Tween In Motion Tween, a path is created and an object moves along with the path. A user specifies the starting and ending points and rest of the work is done by Motion Tween. It generates a path between the starting and ending point which is usually in a straight line. Animate automatically fills up the frames in between and moves the symbol along with the path. Shape Tween In Shape Tween, the animation is done on an object which changes its shape as it moves from starting point to end point. A shape is created at starting point 
and another shape is created at ending point. When shape tween is applied, animate automatically creates the in-between frames and the shape redrawn with incremental modifications to get the desired shape. Classic tween Classic tween is the traditional method of animation. It works just similar to motion tween but with less flexibility. It can be used in making objects fade in and out or move across the scene or change the object size. Frame by frame animation Frame by frame animation is used in which user mentions different art for each frame in timeline. It changes the contents of the stage in each frame. Inverse kinematics poses Inverse kinematics poses is used to animate objects by stretching and bending shapes and link groups of instances so that they can move together. Let us create a simple animation using frame by frame animation method. Draw a yellow colored circle on the stage at frame 1. Insert a keyframe at frame 5. Modify the shape of the circle using sub selection tool and also change its color and position. Insert a keyframe at frame 10. Modify the shape of the circle using sub selection tool and also change the color of the circle and position. Similarly, insert keyframes at frame 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 and modify the shape and change the color and position. Click on test movie button to test the animation. Fact file. To insert a keyframe, Click on the frame and click on Insert Keyframe button or right click on the frame and select Insert Keyframe option. Applying Motion Presets Motion presets are predefined and saved motion tween animations which can be applied to objects on a stage. These presets are found in Motion Presets panel. You can also create and save your own custom presets. Steps to apply motion presets are Create an object on stage. Convert an object to symbol. Click on window and select motion presets option. Select a preset from default presets. Say bounce in 3D. Click apply button. It asks you to convert it into movie clip to apply 3D preset on the object. Click OK button. Click on test movie button to test your animation. Quick backup. Adobe Animate is an animation software with the help of which you can create high quality vector graphics. To start Adobe Animate 2022, click on Start button, Adobe Animate 2022 option, click on File menu, New option, Standard option, Create button. Timeline is used to organize and control a document's contents over time in layers and frames. A frame is a combination of the image and the time of the image when exposed to the view. A symbol is graphic, button or movie clip that is once created in animate and can be reused throughout the document or in other documents as well. A symbol is a resident of library which can be used multiple times in an animation. A symbol is a reusable object and an instance is an occurrence of the symbol on the stage.